I am a tomotachi. Here's another video from me. Hello everyone. It's Edo4. And I'm back with another video yet again. And this will be my last video for the year of 2021. So I like to welcome you all to the Edo Numo channel. If you guys are new, and if you guys are not new, welcome back to my main channel called Edo Numo. For today's topic, for this last report of the winter episode experience, is going to be about the comedian, musical artist, along with a fashionista called Tomi Shinohara. Itsumono Yoni. I start with the complete history from the best of my knowledge and speaking Japanese how I came across this artist. So let's start off the sensational reports. She was born in 1979 on March the 29th in Hagashuri Himurama, Japan. Since the age of 10, she has always been interested in not only music, but also making her own clothing design too. During the summer of 94, that's when she passed her audition for the newcomer of Sony Records. This is how we are going to move on to the music of Shinohara in the next chapter. Her first single is called Chime, released on the 1st of July in 1995 on Kaiun Sony Music. This song made it to the commercial of Sony MD CD and cassette player called Dr. Charger. The second single called Yukari Sensation, which is a motivation sensation, made a movement on the 21st of March in 1996. The third single is called Kurukuru Miracle, out in stores on August the 1st, made it to the 25th place on the chart, and this was the last single of 1996. During this time, she was on a lot of variety shows before th beforehand, but on this specific one, this is where she gets to interview the guest from the Rising Sun and internationally called Love Love I Love You, Aishteru, along with Kidney Kids, Takuro Yoshida, the Alfre, and many others from October the 19th of 1996 all the way to March the 31st of 2001. It had 214 episodes. Like I said, there is a lot of episodes to go over, but by the end of this, I will list my favorite moments of Tomi Shinohara within these interviews and the episode itself. Within this same year of 1996, this also places her first album called Supermodel, starting on the 2nd of October while getting an award for the brand new artist. And now to move on to my birth year, which is 1997. The fourth single called Ultra Relax lay down on March the 1st. It became number three and 28 on the charts, while also becoming a soundtrack to the animation show called Kodomo no Omomocha, or Kodocha, or Child's Toy. The fifth single is from her own band called Shinara Punk, called Marumoke, translated as Lucrative Profit, on the 1st of August in 1997. The sixth single released on the winter of 97, translated as Black Rabbit, Kuruko no Usagi, dug out of the hole in December the 8th. One of the shows she was in is a drama series called Five, where she and five other prisoners escape and become agents to figure out how they can get out and live in society. This had 11 episodes from April the 19th 
to the 28th of June in 1997. The ending song of the soundtrack of Five is called Escape from a rock band called Moon Child. Broke out in May the 28th of 1997 and won the first place for the fifth single on Avix tracks from the second album called My Little Red Book. That won the fourth place and was released on September the 27th of the same year. Now we're going to move to the third year of Tomi Shinohara in Senkyu Haku Kyuju Hachinen. The seventh single called Karagon Theme released on the new year of 98 of January the 21st. The last single of 98 it's called A Love Song from the Carrigans, released on the 21st of May. The last thing released on that same year is the second album called Microphone Speaks. Spoke loudly on the 5th of May, and we're now about to go to the fifth and final year of the 90s, 1999. The ninth single called Kimichi. Translated as Lordship, released on the 2nd of February 1999. The last single of the 20th century is called Happy Point, the 10th single released on the 14th of October and won the 46th place on the chart. The third album released on the last of the 90s called Dream and Machine, dreamt on the 25th of March. Deep Sound Channel, which is a remix uh, released on the 25th of September. And now we're going to move on to the 21st century. The 11th single of the start of the 21st century is called In Audio, released on the 24th of May 2000. The 12th single released within the same year is called I Want to Say Too, was released on the 9th of August. The 13th single called with a duo Cara Diamond Sailing Dream on the new year of 2001 on the 24th of January with Ryodo Yuzaki and this is the soundtrack of Konchan. The fifth album release in Taiwan called Virgin Drink Remix enjoyed on the February of 2001 and now it's time to move on to the third chapter. See you there. Oh. I'm back in Louisiana, my hometown. Well, back to the story of Shinohara. She released two albums and four singles from 2004 to 2011. During these times since 2010, she became a fashion designer for making costumes for Arashi and many others too, while appearing in many other theaters, television shows, and anime as well. And now we're closing the book on Tomi Shinohara, but the most important question to ask for this season is... Why do I like Tomi Shinohara? I believe the reason why I love Tomi Shinohara is because she's super energetic, funny, creative, cute, and down to earth at the same time. Like usual, I'm going to speak in Japanese on how I found the artist. Ganbarimasu! Hajimete Nisen Kunen de Mitai Doki wa de Minimoni no Love Love Aishiteru Shinen de Nisen Ichi Special Taisuki na Tomo ga Kon no Kyo Demo Honto no Hito ga Utoshi to kanji ita. Demo daisuki yo. De kago ita de chichai ga de tomoe ina to gaki to toshi. De ego wa kago kept calling Tomoshi Shinohara 
short and Tomoe kept responding to her that she was a brat and that was like my favorite part. Ninengo Watashi ga Nihon Sashi Sesku Heko de Tsunami wa Sonoki Okota Shikashi Jibun Jishi Fukushi Nihon Arigato ni Kayo Inai Debut Shitaka Umata Inai Demo リリーススタイマスターシノアパンクうまたわね信じてよシノアトミハウジクスタルのソシャシアルキョ外国人知ってる褒めてないはでもシガツシタイチは on July the, the 1st, Tomi Shinohara Day will be celebrated. Happy late 26th anniversary to Ego de Moichido wa Hanashimasu. My favorite moments of Tomoe is the new year of my birth year featuring Speed and Laraku Alcio, Puffy's second show, Papa Papa Puffy, her down to earth character in the drama series 5. My favorite moments on Love X3 is when she not only interviewed Minimoni, but also Arashi, the late and great James Brown, Puffy, going to Hawaii the late and great Robin Williams, and most importantly, TLC. This interview was the most important to me because I believe Tomoe and TLC had definitely the same personality. Ten years ago, I remember commenting that she should be in this group and they would have a new album collaboration called M4D. I got a lot of positive and negative comments at the time. And also on that note, this was the first time I was on YouTube for my 14th birthday. And my first video was mixing the punk version with my favorite cartoons. Speaking of birthdays, before I go to the shoutouts, one of the episodes of Hey X3, she was a special guest along with Max and Yellow Monkeys. I believe this is where she was performing Ultra Relax. This episode was released on the exact birthday, which is April 28, 97. She's definitely the reason of why I not only think about Japan, but I love Japan to this day. And now we move on to the shout outs in this wonderful world. My shout outs are for today's last video for this year of reports goes to Yi Christina Liu, which is my last guest I have for my ninth podcast. Wolven Switzwin, Raised on Media along with KFC. The Kung Fu Couple, if anybody got it mixed up. Grizzly Hendrix. Ghostly Ginger, Acid Arcade Official, Audio Strut, and last but not least, that included Ugu Bugu into this, which is Jump Bunt Studio and Nun Attack. And of course, the legendary idol herself, Tomi Shinohara. So, Thank you guys for watching my last report of 2021. Coming up is my 10th episode of the podcast of the YouTuber Drew B, a reflection about the third year of my channel, along with the same reflection of my podcast channel. Now that I think about it, fourth year at this rate. Um, My next report for the next year will be about running gun and... As usual, 
I'll see you all next time. Happy New Year's. And take it away, Florida Edo. Thank you, Louisiana and Edo. And as always, I'll see you guys next time in the year of 2022. Along of the road of 100 subscribers. And I'm off. Goodbye for now. But I'll see you all in the next year around. Arigato mina. Like usual, I'm going to speak in Japanese on how I found the hours. One of the shows she was in uh, is called a drama called Five from a rock band called Moonchild. Wait, oh, okay. the 11th single of the star of the 21st century is called In Audio. Excuse me. On the new year of 2001, of the 21st, 4th, June.